Okay, guys, let's continue. So, for the first thing, uh, I'm, I have explained to you how to find the answer for that question. And if you can, if you have already the answer, you have to start taking action. Okay, you have to start you know, to take action right now, guys. Uh, this is a table. This table, I, I, I just didn't uh, how to say, I, I didn't do my best table here, but this is enough for making explanation and taking an example. For example, we have learned what we have really need to do and then we have to stop action. So how? First, you just have to identify your day, your free time, how many spare time do you have? Well, for example, you, maybe you have work, maybe you have study, that I don't know exactly, but you just have to identify your, what is a free time and spend that time to this your dream achievement first uh, okay first learning learning that you want to do something for example as I mentioned it I want to be the programmer and I have to learn something right and I just have to learn one hour I, I just put it one hour is enough for me to learn every day one hour is enough for example I will guarantee you you can spend more than one or two hours in just searching or something in the online online media and then you can just spend your time in the, for mind numbing propagandas for in the YouTube. This is this this is which is which is totally bad, I know, but you just have to concentrate on yourself and don't spend your time. Please don't spend your time, this is really important. Just you have to spend one hour learning that the things you really need to learn. And then practice on what you learned. Of course, learning is not enough until you practice, until you do, you did something, until you didn't. For example, if you didn't use that knowledge in your in your mind, and this is it is useless. Why are you learning? What's the point of you learning that thing? You just have to learn, and then after learning, you have to practice on what you learned. Okay. And then the next one, the this three, I mean this two step, this step. And this one is really essential, very, very essential, these two of them. Uh, we're going to talk about that later, maybe. I will tell you briefly about these how to save steps. But the first two step is really essential. And the second one is removing your bad habits. Remember this one, guys? Uh, if I have a... Once I have a time, I will try to make a video for how to remove our bad habits and I will tell you my own story how I removed my bad habits okay and then healthy eating healthy eating really essential because what you eat affects on your productivity you have to boost your productivity how with, with the help of of course eating healthy foods only healthy foods can help you to do more productive okay and the next one is physical exercise. Why we need a physical exercise? For example, some somebody you now many people doesn't or do not know about meditation or how to meditating or yoga exercises. That which is helps you to your mind and spiritual well being. But now this physical exercise is really essential because when you do some kind of push up exercise or other exercise, it will also help you to produce your mind more serotonin which spreads your body health uh, happiness happiness yeah serotonin always creates happiness in your self and when you have a happiness you have got a motivation if you have a motivation you can uh, encourage you to do better things all right so you know that better you know that better than me you just have to take it control you just have to take action so learning practicing on what you learned and for example today is 6th of january and if you've done learning, for example, I have done my learning and I have done my practice as well. And I'm still trying to remove my bad habits. For example, I wasn't able to speak well or I, I had a bad habit which was not reading well. Or I had also the bad habits which was not completing until the end. I had many bad habits. For example, I didn't read a lot of books. I mean, I didn't read any books. I improved my reading skill. This is my, how do I say, I have just removed my bad habits. This is my good habit. So 
I'm still doing that healthy heating. Today I have to admit that I didn't eat healthy, which means bad of course, but still I don't really, I don't exactly know, but I didn't do healthy eating and I didn't do physical exercise. Yes, I just have to admit that because I'm a good if you want to be a good teacher, you just have to teach them and you just have to do them. But the bad teacher can teach students but he or she will never do what he said or what he she said but i'm going to tell you the truth only i didn't eat healthy and i didn't do any physical exercise yet and then you just have to go through until the 30 days for example 13 or the 30 here must be 6 again maybe 6 of february and then and then you just have to count maybe this maybe that maybe this Maybe that, and this one, that one, and this one, that one, that one, maybe you, you didn't do any practice, or something, it must be something you, you are not removing, maybe your bad habits, I don't know exactly. Then, you will see your results, for example, you are eating healthy, one day, two day, and not healthy, this one is physical exercise, and I'm still not doing one times a day, and two times, three times, this is what your life looks like this it is obvious you can see improvement or increasing or decreasing it's easy to know that you are just spending your time for useless seeing for example then that's i know that's really hard to know that but one when, when you do at least when you stick to this table at least one month i mean 30 days that will change your entire life I'm sure that for example if you stick together if, if you stick to this 30 day 30 day challenge of your life changing it can help you I mean it can innermostly change your life for example you will see your you will see nothing improvement for example if you do nothing just mark it to minus and then you will see your result I'm trying to explain it it's, but sorry for my English, it's still getting so difficult for you to explain like a native English speaker or something like that. But uh, I hope that I have done my work as clearly as possible. This is all what I can do today. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching me. I hope you're going to meet in my next video. Bye, guys.